Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I am going to do the single eyeshadow tag. I saw Smithy Sony do this on her channel and I found it so interesting. I was like, hey, this is gonna give me a chance to give some love and showcase some of my favorite single eyeshadows. But before we get into this tag, if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun and colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on indie makeup. So if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family but with that being said let's get into this video loves welcome I'm excited to get into this tag video I love doing these they're so fun and interesting and I love that this one is focused on single eyeshadows which is a very neglected part of my makeup collection so to feature them swatch them and play with them makes me so happy and helps remind me to use them more now I will make sure to link Smithy Sony's video below so you can check out her responses her video was really interesting and she swatched some really beautiful shadows and if I can find the original creator I will link their video below as well as the questions in case you want to answer them for yourself do your own version of this tag video or maybe you want to answer them and leave your responses in the comments below because I would love to hear what your guys favorite shadows are also if you're curious about this eye look I did film it I did a whole Q&A get ready with me that video should probably be up before this one so I'll link it below and put it up in the corner if you want to hear me answer questions and you want to see what makeup I ended up using. So let's get into the tag now. So the first question is your current favorite single shadow and that was so easy for me to figure out. I love this one from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. This is from their Cosmic Dreamer Full Moon Eyeshadow Collection. I did do a whole swatch party with the shadows but this one in Peculiar Galaxy, I have such a hard time saying that word, is so beautiful. It's like a really stunning multi-chrome and it's so multi-dimensional and so shifty and so foiled. Like, look at that. And it has all these different shifts and you can just see them so easily. There's green, which green is like my favorite color to wear on my eyes, but then it has like a bronzy shift. There's like so much going on in this shadow. It's so reflective. And intense you can use these with like more nudie mattes with greens there's also some blue in here it's just absolutely stunning like look at that shine like oh, it's so gorgeous now going on to the next question which is your previous favorite before your current one came along and that would be this one from Cleona this is the shade called patina this is probably my most used single from Cleona. It's a beautiful olive shadow that shifts. It looks so gorgeous on the eyes. I love this so much. I've used it in so many looks, especially off camera. And this used to be my favorite before this one. It stole my heart, but this one still is gorgeous. Like, I just love the olive tone of this. It has like an antique gold bronzy shift to it. And I just felt like it was one of those shades that I could pair like with neutral like mattes as well as colorful mattes. And this one is kind of similar in the shift to this one up here, but it's just not as like bright and as I think foiled as this one up here. But this one has blue going to it through it. It has the bronze, it has the olivey green. This one is just with a darker base and this one is just a little bit more lighter and like bam in your face, but they're similar and this is like my go-to kind of color. I love greens. I will always choose a green eye look over anything like if I can't figure out what to wear on my eyes. So that's my current favorite, my previous favorite. I mean, this one is still really gorgeous and definitely a go-to of mine. Then the third question is your favorite one and done a single shadow. So I have two here from Cleona. I think these are just so easy to just put all over the lids, maybe even throw in some bronzer through the crease and you're good to go. And they're definitely like elevated, high shine, high glam kind of single. So this one's from Cleona and the Glitter Multichrome Formula and Foiling. It's just a beautiful nudie metallic, but it's extra dimensional, extra shiny and sparkly. So it's like just going to give you the most glamorous lid with just one shade. Like, look at that. This is great for my nudie lovers who just want something extra shiny and shimmery. It's such a beautiful, easy shade to put all over the lids. It has all these sparkles in it and it's just 
an easy shadow to use. And then the other shadow is called Corrosion, which this one is really pretty. It kind of has more of like a taupey base, but I feel like there's some green to this as well. But this is also an easy one and done shadow. They're different, but this one is bright too. Like there's so much going on in this one. There's like somewhat of a taupiness. I feel like there's just a lot of sparkle and I feel like this one would also look really beautiful all over the lid you know by itself or something through the crease I just went for my most like stunning like nudie metallics but those are both from Cleona gorgeous shadows I adore them going on to the next question is a single shadow you think is underrated and that would be all of the singles from NZ Rain Cosmetics I know that they're a smaller indie brand so they're still growing so I don't feel like they've gotten that much attention like they just haven't been featured enough for people to start like really noticing them but they have amazing singles all of the ones that I have tried have been amazing like the whole Cosmic Dreamer collection is beautiful and I just got their Enchanted Garden collection and these singles too are absolutely gorgeous should i swatch some more of them okay i'll swatch another full moon shadow this one is called cosmic rain i just i just want to have a reason to swatch things okay they're so beautiful now you'll definitely get like some shimmer fallout from these because they're more on the flaky side but they're so impactful but look at this shade look how bright it is and like it has like purple to it it has green i don't know if you guys can see as much as the lavender that i can see in person but it's so striking hopefully you guys can see how amazing and bright that is and then from like the enchanted garden palette like look at these shades like this minty one i love Oh my god, it's so beautiful and full and bright, makes a beautiful inner corner highlight. I just wanted to show you guys like how pretty these shadows are. I need to build that up just a little bit more just so you can see. Like, look at that. Do you guys see that? I hope my swatches are okay. You can actually see how beautiful these are. I really, really love Ends the Rain Cosmetics. Also, their eyeshadow palettes that I've tried, I think are gorgeous. The collab palette that they did, shimmers are gorgeous in there. So definitely that brand deserves more hype. Now, the next question is a single shadow not worth the hype. And I feel like a lot of you might disagree with me on this, but my shadows that I have from Terra Moon Cosmetics doesn't do it for me and it might be the specific collection that I picked up it's not these shadows right here but all of these right here are from Terra Moon and I feel like they're kind of on the muted side and not as impactful as I want them to be so I think maybe it's the specific collection that I picked up but all of them kind of have like a muted tone to them this one is called like Supernova it's pretty but there's something muted and it's just not like doing it for me. Like I never reach for these because they all have somewhat of like a grayish tone to them. Like this one is called Gamma Ray. I, I can't remember the name of this collection, but I don't know. I think the tones of them don't do it for me. I mean, like they look pretty and they're, they're smooth, but they don't excite me. You see how they're kind of muted? I don't know if that's translating on camera, but I feel like that kind of has like a gray base to it. And that one is just like, to me, almost like a bronzy shade that has some pink, but it's not that exciting. They're still pretty, but I don't know. And I feel like Terra Moon Cosmetics is very expensive for their single eyeshadow. So I was hoping to be more wowed by these ones, but maybe I just picked up the wrong collection. You guys will have to let me know. If you have some favorites from Terra Moon that I should try that will wow me, please let me know. I think I just bought the wrong collection because all of these are just muted. So I do feel like these singles, at least the ones I've tried from Terra Moon, are definitely overhyped. Now question number seven. A single shadow that best represents your favorite singles brand. That's kind of a weird question, but I would say Cleona Cosmetics is my favorite single eyeshadow brand, hands down. I love the stained glass collection. I have so many of them. 
Like they're just all so amazing, like mind-blowingly amazing. Like I have this one right here, Kiln. This is their black base multi curl. I love this one. If you want to do like a, a really intense kind of like fiery, dark, dramatic look, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like look at how smooth that is. I love, love this one. And then like their iridescent shadows are gorgeous. I just wanted to swatch a bunch of them. I'm not sticking to one. I just, I just can't. I love any excuse to swatch these shadows. All of the Kelowna shadows and all the different types are so beautiful in the stained glass collection. Like all of these iridescent ones make beautiful inner corner highlights. Like, should I, should I swatch any more? Do you guys want to see some more? Come on, let's do, let's do more. This one is called Court Jester. It's like a peachy orangey one. That's from like their newer release. They're all hits, all of them. I like every single, single shadow that I have from Cleona are absolutely amazing. And I just love that they have so many options. The black face multi-chromes, iridescent multi-chromes, glitter type multi-chromes. They have hybrids. They have ones that have more of a grayish base that will work on like deeper skin tones. Like they just have so many to work with. So I love love my singles from Cleona. And then the next question is a single shadow you grew to like, and I don't have a specific shadow that I can think of, but overall it would be my Sydney Grace singles when it comes specifically to their metallics. Like I love their mattes, they have amazing mattes, but I feel like I've grown to appreciate their metallics. They're more of those traditional metallics that are very smooth, easy to work with. I mean, they're pigmented, they glide on really nicely. They're just not those super like, like glittery, intense, foiled, uh, flaky shadows that I typically gravitate to. But if I'm not wanting anything crazy on the eyes, like I just want to do a simple look or I'm just not feeling a textured shadow and I don't want to enhance my texture on my lids that day, I will use their singles. Trust me, I know I'm sticking usually to these, but every now and then I like something a little smoother and I think they work well. And I think these are like great kind of metallics for people that don't want the overly flaky shadows, that want something nice and smooth, that will just glide on, won't enhance texture, but look really pretty. I mean, they still have a good amount of shine to them for being more of like a smoother traditional formula. So I still think they're impactful on the lids, especially if you use like a glitter primer underneath them, you can make them look even more like brighter and intense. So they look beautiful. I mean, they look nice on the eyes. They're nice and smooth. So I've grown to really like the single metallics from Cindy Grace. Then the next question is a single shadow you would give to your worst enemy. That is such a funny question. And there's none in my actual single eyeshadow collection, but there's a specific shade within a palette that I just don't like it didn't vibe with me I don't like how it feels I don't like how it goes in the eyes and it creased really bad for me it's it's the shadow within the La Cienega palette the one called PCH this one right here it looks beautiful it looks super foiled especially when swatched out but it feels horrible on the eyes it's super flaky very scratchy and it creased so bad on my lids even the Rodondo Beach kind of did that but this one is extra textured and it's so sad because look how beautiful it looks like i can even feel the scratchiness going on my arm right now like it just shouldn't feel like that it almost has the texture of a pressed glitter even though like this palette doesn't have pressed glitters in it but it just feels that dry and scratchy and it looks so amazing but it doesn't look amazing on the eyes so I would say that would be a good way to fool my worst enemy they think they're getting an amazing shadow that they're gonna look hot and go outside shining and then they find out it's gonna crease and look like crap by the end of the night you know what that's the perfect sabotage shadow if i have to say oh my god that's such a funny question we're almost done we have two more questions so a single shadow you would pay double for and that would be my divina shadows specifically the aurora flare shadows they're so beautiful they're their black base multi-chromes I definitely would pay double for these. And I feel like I got a good deal on them. Like I got a 20% off discount when I bought them in a bundle. So they came out being relatively more affordable than these kind of multi-chromes usually go for, but they're absolutely stunning and so smooth. This one is called Thermosphere. Like it's a beautiful blue to purple. 
They're so buttery. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. And they are more affordable than the ones from Cleona, but they're just as good as the like black base uh, multi chromes from Cleona. Like, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Buttery goodness. So creamy. I want to swatch some more. I love Exofear. This is another one that I love so much. I mean, you know, I love my greens. I can't get enough of greens. They just glide on like butter. And then like, let's do one more. I have Polaris. Look at how strong that green is. There's also purple going in with this and probably blue, but come on. These are so amazing, so high quality, so creamy and so shifty. I would definitely pay double for these, specifically the Aurora Flare, but I do love all the other ones that I have from Davina. Like I have a bunch of other ones here and they're all so, so good. Then the very last question, which I had to think very hard about, is a single shadow that best represents you. And I was like, you know what, this is hard. I love every shadow color, all of my singles. Like what would be like the me shade. And then I was like, okay, if I was creating an eyeshadow palette, what would be a shadow I had to have in the palette? And then it came to me. I would have to have a bright limey green shadow. So I was like, you know what? This is probably the one that represents me the most. This is from uh, Uden's Eye from their Jewel Shine collection. This is Ingrid. Now it looks probably more yellowy to you, but it also has a limey green shift to it. It has a lot going on. I'm actually gonna swatch it over here instead because my arm's pretty much covered. But this one is like my go-to for like an inner corner highlight. If I wanna like make something pop on the lids, it's like a brightening shade. And it has like lime and gold and it's so beautiful. It has orange going on in it too. Like on the camera, I don't think it's picking up as limey green as it is in person, but this is like a must shadow for me in a palette. Like I have to have something like this. Look at that. Woo! It's got orange, gold, and a lime green shift. It's like the perfect inner corner highlight. It's my go-to shade. It is me and an eyeshadow. It pops the inner corner. You can use it with any color. Any look you do, if you put a limey, green, shifty, metallic, it's gonna make it pop, it's gonna bring it together, it's gonna look fabulous. So that would be me in a shadow, a lime green, shifty, metallic, that will take your look to the next level because that's what I'm about, taking things to the next level. So that was all the questions for this tag. All the shadows that I wanted to swatch for you guys and love on, even the ones that I don't really love but still looks stunning, just feels horrible. <laughs> but I had so much fun doing this tag. I found it so interesting and I hope you guys found my responses interesting and all that. But I would love to hear what your guys thoughts are in the comments below. Like what are your favorite single shadows? What are your favorite brands for single eyeshadows? I would love to hear from all of y'all. Also, if you are new here and you enjoy this video, you like swatch videos, you like a lot of content on indie makeup, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I'll have all the shadows that I swatch for you guys linked in case you want to check them out for yourself. I will link other swatch party videos that I've done. I've swatched like most of my singles from Cleona, the Uden's Eye Jewel Shine Collection, Davina Shadows, as well as my Ensley Rain Shadows. So if you want to see more from the brand and see more beautiful swatches, I will also have my makeup link. Like I said, I did film this. That video should already be up. It will be in the description up in the corner if you want to see how I put this beautiful look together. And I will also have my contact and my social media platforms. I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. So if you want to join my Instagram fam, I would really, really love that. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, for being here, for supporting me and my channel. You guys are just so amazing. And I just appreciate you guys all so much. And I just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world. And I'm just sending you guys so much light and love. But until next time, bye guys. Thank you.